हेलो स्टूडेंट्स यू आर वाचिंग अवर यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित आई पोस्ट वीडियोस ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्ट आवर चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इन दिस चैनल टूडे आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग द इनफाइनाइट सीरीज टू पॉइंट ओ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर टॉपिक विच इज अबाउट ऑल्टरनेटिंग सीरीज दैट इफ वी हैव एनी ऑल्टरनेटिंग सीरीज देन विल दैट सीरीज बी कंडीशनली कन्वर्जेंट और नॉट हियर राइट I have already told you the concept of the Leibniz theorem in the alternating series. That after applying the Leibniz theorem in the alternating series, we check if it is convergent or not, or if we have any alternating series, whether it is absolutely convergent or not. I have already uploaded this video, so you can check out that video on I tab. Today, I am going to tell you about if we have any alternating series, whether it will be conditionally convergent or not. We will be discussing about it in this video. So let's start. If we are given any alternating series, the alternating series are like this minus one power n u n. If we have any alternating series of this type, if I take the modulus of this here, you can take n minus one here. It won't make any difference, right? If I take the modulus of this, then it will be minus one to the power n u n on taking the modulus. It means what will be the value here? It will become u n here. If we have this series as convergent, and after taking the modulus of this series, if this series comes divergent here. so these type of series what are they called in that case they are called conditionally convergent for example if i were to tell you that the summation n equals to 1 tends to infinity of minus 1 to the power of n minus 1 upon n so we know that by the leibniz theorem this alternating series what is it students it is convergent okay if i take the modulus of this here n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n minus 1 1 upon n and when i take its modulus So from here minus one to the power n will be removed. So this will be left, and we know that by the p-series test, this series will become divergent here. So guys, this alternating series is convergent. But on taking its modulus, we get a divergent series. So what will we have this series as? It will be conditionally convergent, right? So what is this concept about? This is the concept about conditionally convergent, right? So if you are given this series and you are asked. to test the conditional convergence of this given alternating series then what we will do first of all here here we see that the series it will be from 1 to infinity minus 1 power n minus 1 1 upon n root n so we are getting a series like this thus this will be the series now what do we do here this is an alternating series and we are using the leibniz theorem so it will be convergent here and this series is decreasing as well and we can see at n tends to infinity un is coming zero also so this will be convergent here now what we will do we will take its modulus if we will take the modulus then what will we get n is equal to 1 tends to infinity means this will be 1 upon n root n and we know at n is equal to 1 tends to infinity then this will be 1 upon n power 3 by 2 we know that by the p series test we are getting the value of p 3 by 2 which is greater than 1 therefore by the p series test it will be convergent it means this will be absolutely convergent it will not be conditionally convergent if we take the modulus of this and it comes divergent then in that case this becomes conditionally convergent however if by chance in the question this would happen that these three which you see this 2 3 4 would have not been here just the root and also if these all were not given if these were not given then this would have become power 1 by 2 and the value of p at 1 by 2 would have been less than 1 so in this case this series would have become conditionally convergent so you need to understand this and here is a question given to us n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to the power n minus 1 under root n square minus 1 minus n you have to prove this is conditionally convergent whenever we have this kind of series then what should we do we will rationalize this n equals to 1 to infinite minus 1 raised to power n minus 1 root n square minus 1 minus n we will write root n square minus 1 plus n upon root of n square minus 1 plus n you can see this is a minus b into a plus b so you will see what will come here minus 1 to the power n minus 1 and here its value will be n square minus 1 minus n square divided by root of n square minus 1 plus n n square will be cancelled with n square and from here we will get n is equal to 1 tends to infinity this minus 1 will go here it will become minus 1 to the power n and in denominator it will be root n square minus 1 plus n now if we check here so this series is decreasing and its un 1 upon n square minus n plus n is becoming zero at n tends to infinity 
So by Leibniz theorem, this alternating series which we have is convergent. Now we will take the modulus of this term and we will find out if its modulus will be convergent or not. So we will take the summation here n tends to infinity. This modulus will be removed which means minus 1 power n will be removed. So we will get n square minus 1 plus n. You need to know if this series is convergent or divergent. What do we do in such cases here? We will use the comparison test here. So we have this as un here. So what we will do? We will choose the vn and to choose the vn we will remove this constant from here. If we will remove the constant then it will be 1 upon root n square minus 1 plus n. So it will be 1 upon n. Although it will be 1 upon 2n, but we will remove constant here. It will be limit n tends to infinity. We will find out un upon vn. If its value comes finite, then behavior of this and this will be same, right? So what we will do here, limit n tends to infinity. The value of un will be 1 upon n square minus 1 plus n. And 1 upon n here, when we will solve this, it will be limit n tends to infinity. This n will go up and this will be root n square minus 1 plus n. When you will calculate the limit, it will be limit n tends to infinity. So we will write n. We will take n common here. So here what value will we get? 1 minus 1 by n plus 1. This n is cancelled with this n. And at n tends to infinite, this 1 by n will become 0. So from here we will get its value as 1 by 2 which is a finite value. So the behavior of this vn and this is same. And if we look at the series of vn which will be summation 1 upon n, we know that it is divergent by the p-series test. And if this vn is divergent then this will also be divergent so this is convergent but when this is its modulus and it has become divergent which means this will become conditionally convergent right so this is what you need to understand we have one more question and we have to prove minus 1 to the power n sin 1 by n conditionally convergent so what will we do in this we know that it is best if we expand the series of this minus 1 power n sin 1 by n it will be n equals to 1 tends to infinity minus 1 power if we take its series we will get 1 upon n minus 1 upon 3 factorial 1 upon what will be here n cube like this we get its series here and here it is a monotonically decreasing series it is becoming 0 at n tends to infinity so students by Leibniz test this will be convergent now we will take its modulus what does modulus do what we will do with the value we will get we will try to take it in positive when we will take positive then it will be n tends to infinity it will be 1 upon n minus 1 upon 3 factorial 1 by n cube. When we will take this, now we have got this as our un and I will choose a vn. So I have taken the vn as 1 upon n. What should we do next? We will have to check it. So limit n tends to infinity. un upon vn, we are doing the same comparison test here. This is our un and we have taken this as vn. So now we will take un upon vn. This will be limit n tends to infinity. It will be 1 upon n minus 1 by 3 factorial 1 upon n cube. What will come in the denominator? It will be 1 upon n. Now, look at this. We have got 1 upon n common here. If you look here, what is going to be left? So this will be limit. n tends to infinity. It will be 1 minus 1 by 3 factorial. 1 upon n square. We will get the term like this. And when you put n tends to infinity, then what will be its value? It will be 1. That means this value is finite. So its behavior and its behavior will be the same. We know that by the p-series test, what do we get it as? It is divergent. It means this will also be divergent. However, this series, this alternating series is convergent here. As soon as we took the modulus, it is divergent. So this series will be conditionally convergent series. Thus, we can easily prove it here in this way. Now, students, this question given here is for the comment box. And how many seconds did it take you to solve this question? Please do tell me through comments if you want more such series, you will find the complete playlist on this channel. If you are preparing for CSIR, NetGet, IIT, JAM and want to improve short tricks, you can check out the playlist from here and you can like, share, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much everyone. Bye-bye.